This is breaking news. Titi denies Aubrey O'Day's shocking allegation in new documentary. Titi is shooting down claims his former artist Aubrey O'Day made in the first documentary about his legal drama. Over the weekend, TNZ released its documentary TNZ Presents, The Downfall of Diddy on Tubi. The hour-long special provides detailed insight into all the explosive allegations, numerous lawsuits, and the raids that put the ongoing federal sex trafficking investigation in the spotlight. There are several familiar faces who appear in the documentary, including singer Aubrey O'Day. During her interview, the former member of Danity Kane claimed Diddy tried to make her sign a non-disclosure agreement in exchange for her publishing rights. A rep for Diddy told TMZ that's not the case. Aubrey O'Day got her big break because Diddy and Bad Boy cast her in their show with her group. Danity Kane, the rep said, last year, when he reassigned his portion of the publishing to Bad Boy artists, an unprecedented move within the industry and which he did not have to do. Not all artists signed an NDA, contrary to what she claims. O'Day claimed she was offered a grand total of $300.30 for her publishing rights and her silence. The artist said she declined the offer because she's making a decent amount of cash without Diddy's help. O'Day said she's glad she turned him down especially with everything that's happening in the embattled mogul's life. As most fans know, O'Day has been speaking out against Diddy's shady business practices for years and values her freedom of speech more than anything. I received the publishing deal, I know what it says, I know how much money it was getting me, the singer said. I'll tell you, $300.30, for a full release of all claims against Diddy and many other players. I think he was making moves to keep as many people quiet as possible, she continued. When I went to look at the publishing deal, it said anything but I'm being made whole financially again. In fact, it asked me to not have access to my story and my experience anymore. It asked me specifically to stay silent and never speak poorly about a human.